With over 300 sessions at Next 2023, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see five practical considerations for adopting AI, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. AI has the potential to transform all industries and is being adopted at an unprecedented rate. And one of the most common questions we get is, what is actually going to create value for my business? And what should I consider in formulating my AI roadmap? So let's start with business value created by AI. Typically, companies look to improve an existing workflow or solve a new problem that couldn't be solved before. And AI can help deliver new insights from data, increase employee productivity, and speed up time to innovation. And it all starts with use case prioritization, where we recommend looking at three things. Business impact, the bottom line, increasing revenue or decreasing costs, including employee productivity. Ease of implementation, which depends on data availability and difficulty of methodology used, impacting time to market. And lastly, the capabilities built. Where are some repeatable patterns across the business? Where have you built training or monitoring capabilities that could be reused? Bring together business and technical stakeholders to define the use cases and success. However, in such a quickly moving field, it's critical to experiment and iterate. With traditional AI, that took a lot of time, data, experts, and stages. But fortunately with generative AI, that life cycle is dramatically shortened. So while it may still feel a bit intimidating or open-ended, Gen AI enables rapid and efficient experimentation, even if you're not using an out-of-the-box solution or if you're only supplementing a workflow with AI. But of course, your key output to all this experimentation is data and what it tells you about your actual improvements. And for that, we suggest focusing on three areas. Accuracy. Consider grounding in the truth of what your goals are. It's going to be different for creative marketing than it would be for obtaining facts or summaries. Impact. Does this solution solve a problem, add revenue, or lower costs? And efficiency you want to make sure that this makes sense for your business. To get the best results and performance, you also need to evaluate at several steps, from finding to tuning and validating your model output to ongoing measurement and evaluation, especially for emerging Gen AI products, while researchers continue to improve model evaluation. First principles like evaluating against your own defined goals and budget are reasonable targets like having a data set that's sufficient for what you want to measure, defining quality metrics that are important for you, and keeping your decision space small. What are you willing to adjust? Of course, enterprise readiness is essential for adopting AI. And fortunately, enterprise readiness is foundational to all of our AI products. And while the customer is responsible for aspects of maintaining their environments, Building on Google Cloud means that we share that security responsibility with you. And we take that shared responsibility one step farther to operate in a shared fate model with our customers with Google Cloud's Secure AI Framework, or SAFE. SAFE is a conceptual framework for securing AI systems inspired by security best practices. This ensures that when AI models are implemented, they're secure by default. And this means that you can build secure, private AI applications without expending massive resources. But as your number of use cases increases, you'll need to automate this framework to scale, which is where MLOps comes in. MLOps is a set of standardized processes and capabilities for building, deploying, and operationalizing ML systems rapidly and reliably involving orchestrating and automating the execution of continuous training pipelines, model deployment and prediction serving, data set and feature management, and model management and governance. And with Gen AI, 
Organizations need to evolve their MLOps capabilities to address new challenges. With model adaptation like prompt engineering and tuning techniques, model optimization for efficient deployment and serving, and additional guardrails like safety scores, filters, DLP, and even human feedback. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.